quality uh, tabloid magazine. What if the magazine actually was a tabloid? What if the magazine was like a clip for a gun? Also, <laughs> <laughs> because it's a newspaper, not a magazine. I get it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, again, at, at, at several occasions, you mentioned that I could have written this movie. I, I'm not <laughs> convinced you didn't, dude. <laughs> like, it was, it, honestly, you guys, if you listen to fucking, this is episode 73? You've, uh, yeah. You've heard 72 and a half episodes of this fucking podcast. Honestly, you know Paul's level. And this was not above it. This was not above it at all. <laughs> no, but like, there was so much when I'm just like, this seems exactly like something that Paul would fucking write. <laughs> This is FFPU, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. My name is Paul, and this is the 73rd episode recorded on the 11th of 73rd, 11th of March of March 2018. That's Merz for the Österreicher. (laughs) (laughs) And we're drinking Merzen. Very good. Yeah, genau. No, we're not. Yeah, 11th (laughs) Merzen. That is my 11th (laughs) Merzen. How fitting that this movie is made in 2011. All right. uh, It is the Green Hornet, and let me just point at the people and introduce themselves. I'm Jim. Hey, Jim. Williams. Thanks, Williams. Yes. Williams. <laughs> wow, a real true professional. The Jim? <laughs> Wait, the famous one? <laughs> oh, you've heard of me. Yes, yes it worked again. <laughs> Perfect. My name precedes me. Mm, yes. Even if it's Mr. Williams, it, it still works. Like, you have the most generic white guy name ever. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty crazy. Much. Like, yeah. That's why I got in the show business. <laughs> That's why he became famous. <laughs> so they finally know who they're oh, talking oh, about. No, the, the, the Polish people, when they see the name, they're like, oh, he must be a white person. <laughs> uh, it's Poland. They see a name in Poland and they assume it's a white person. <laughs> oh, and, until otherwise Kichwa proven Kichwa Jamarbe. Pres- okay, well, that's probably white because what else would it be? Yeah. <laughs> Even if he started out black, by the time the vitamin deficiency kicks in. <laughs> oh, you say Jim was a brother? No. Oh, okay. He was yes. Jim was a nigger. That's why. He, <laughs> that's why he's allowed to say it. <laughs> <laughs> As no. you can see, cool. I wanted. Cool. I wanted to live a day in your shoes. I, I reach over borders. Let's be honest. I probably shouldn't say it either. But well, <laughs> so let's. You at should least say it half to... as much as you do. Just Nick. That would be yeah. What's up, Nick? <laughs> Wait, when you say that the Knicks are playing tonight... That's the Knicks, dickhead. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Movie, two hours long. Podcast recording... Indefinite. <laughs> just, just No, we have a hard limit because I only have 96 uh, gigabytes of SD card. But we know... But just, no. To work with. So. I like how you said it. Like, that gives us any idea how long this is going to be. Two hours. Okay. Tops. As long as, yeah, just remember, I have I mean, a show I can, tomorrow I can, night. I have a show tomorrow night in Crom Lodge. It's not going to be out by then. It's not going to be aired this month. No, this oh. is going to, yeah. I had a show I had in a Crom show tomorrow night. Thank you if you, you were there. You can track your shit later, guys. All right. But people aren't going to listen until the end. <laughs> this show I have in June. You assume they start to listen at the they beginning. They the gates. <laughs> So we watched the 2011 movie, The Green Hornet, and... I didn't get to introduce myself! Oh, people How already are know... know who I am? People know who you are. Come on. The listening numbers Jack actually Holmes, reflect... Jack Holmes, back in the building. What's up? <laughs> I just got back from the shopping mall. <laughs> How does he say Darth Maul? Is he Darth Maul? Honestly, it's probably Paschetti. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jack Holmes. Follow him on diverse media platform. I'm not going to put the links in the description. Just figure that shit out, guys. Um, or don't. It's either way. Yeah, yeah. Is he is he still in the lead when it comes to likes on his fan page? Barely. How much? How much is left? Um, for the Vienna Chuckles... Let's like, give it the FFPO push now. For Vienna Chuckles... <laughs> I'm going to lose followers. <laughs> it's a contra push. It's very meta. The Vienna Chuckles page has like... 
two or three less than him, uh-huh. my page has like forty or fifty less. Okay, yeah, that's doable. Yeah, four or five. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like I can probably if I push for it, I can probably hit a thousand before he does. Yeah, then let's do that. Yeah, and I'm going to motivate Jack to do the same. I would no, don't do that. <laughs> don't motivate Jack. No. Oh, okay. Because uh, here, I'll put it this way: Jack can be motivated if he hears this episode by himself. You think so? Uh, I said that because he does not listen to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, for everybody who is here to listen to us about the movie, let's move Hi, on. Hi, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, future Paul editing this podcast. <coughs> it's nice to meet all of you <laughs> listeners. <laughs> Mom, oh. Aunt Cindy, Aunt Karen, Cousin Michael, hey... Travis, how's it going? There's yeah. uh, I'm getting the Jim Williams bump over here. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, you get four Americans from yeah. Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> Who want to know our Few of those live in Arizona. Like Scottsdale. Lots yes. of revenue stream. That's where my mom's at, too. And, like, my mom, my podcast, like, every time Jack and I have a joke, it's like, all the listeners, it's like, hi, Paul. Hi, Reggie's mom in six months. <laughs> 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 no, you don't have a large enough SD card for me to name all Shout of them. All, all, of his, family. all of his inbred my... family. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very I, tight bond. Look, I could name the three family members, but naming all their titles, that would take forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such a revelation, Reggie. How did you come yeah, about that one? every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just the same thing over and over again. <laughs> In your case. What? <laughs> so, yeah, this movie already starts out really strong. No, it and doesn't. No, yes, it I'm does. Being, I'm being sarcastic. It makes a strong claim. <laughs> the first, the, no. Oh, yeah, the this first, first image. scene. The first yes. scene was a, a superhero who could fly by. Actually, I, I stand to correct you, sir. From my CD chair, the first thing that we saw was the was words, the Miramax. No, was the words original film. <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> and I must say that the Green Hornet, that 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 based is based off a radio show. Yeah, and also a TV show. Very <laughs> original. <laughs> that opens with a Superman ripoff. There you go. But Be, yes, original. which I think is a metaphor for all of it, because like the superhero was flying, but only because it had a fucking worthless person beside him holding, holding him. him up yeah. as he holds him out the window, which yeah. is a metaphor for the Green Hornet as a character. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 metaphors. It's unintentional metaphors are actually better than the actual metaphors that they build into this. Like the honeycomb thing must have been intentional and we're skipping ahead here. Yeah. But I don't give like a fuck with minutes, this movie. But yeah, yeah, but oh yeah, because so much happens in those five minutes. It does. Yeah, okay, it's stupid, please. but yeah, it does. It, yeah, oh, this whole movie was a stupid affair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, control yourself. <laughs> This, is, this movie already broke me. I had to rewatch this shit. Why you are you it the first time you saw it? Yeah, because I was twenty-one, an 22? idiot, an yeah. idiot. Yes, uh, I was a child who could vote for several years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean the, the movie starts out with the hero introduction, but then switches over immediately, immediately to, to the to villain. Bed. Yeah. Which is like 20 years later, and then the villain. And I'm like, yeah. that's too, there's, there's, that's not relevant yet. Like, you haven't yeah. even established the character yet to make me want to do 20 years later. And 20 it's Crystal Faults. Well, yeah, so like 20, that's the Austrian connection. The thing connection. is, this little kid, the dad was like, you lost a fight at school. He's like, I tried to save people. Well, it doesn't matter as long as you fail. Then he takes the kid's superhero doll out of his hand, rips the head off, throws it in the trash can. The kid's crying. He's like, you think it makes me happy to do this? And the kid's like, yeah. And he's like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm Which was <laughs> hilarious for us, but yeah. it, it was played for dramatic effect. Yeah. Big Mrs. has got his tendrils into my heart. <laughs> Basically, intro superhero story, my dad was a dick. Yeah, like Batman, you know, his family was murdered in front of him. This one is like, and my dad broke my toy that, yeah. he, that he paid for with his job. And I had to just be a billionaire for the rest of my life and fuck a lot of women. Meh. But it went straight from like, uh, like a close-up on the, the superhero's tra- head going in the trash can to... 
20 years later. <laughs> but his, but his, but his dad ex- and other characters who aren't relevant. Yeah. His dad expects him to be self-sufficient at six years old, and then 20 years later, he's allowing him to live in the beach house? Yeah, in the guest beach house? In the pool house. Yeah, like, in 20 than, years, uh, nothing has exploded. Which is in itself a villa again. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's, like, it's a pool house that, like, I would fucking love to li- squat in. Like, I would... <laughs> Anybody. My Anybody. whole family would fit in that pool house quite comfortably. It might yeah. be bigger. It's bigger, not only bigger than Paul's house, it's probably bigger than the building Paul's house is in. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Has more square footage. Yeah, with that fucking pool, to, like that insane pool, it is, like the, the amount of money this newspaper is Well, it's a pool house, make. Paul. Those are come standard. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Just building the pool house. Done. No well, pool. Like, watching I'd him like walk the from pool the... house without the pool, please. <laughs> like watching him walk from his dad's house to his house was like watching somebody walk from the White House to mini White House. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was great though, and they they like they established that that he's an entitled douchebag like from the get go. That's what the movie does really well. But how they, can no, you? They, they, and no, he didn't actually. He didn't. It wasn't right from the get go because it was because hey, whiny kid, hey, random bad guy, and then they finally got to him. Being oh yeah, entitled. fair enough. Yes, but the. Yeah, Jim. I no, I was. I'm not fine. I'm fine. You guys continue. <laughs> <laughs> My next note doesn't come for some time. So okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the, oh wait, are we supposed, supposed the, to like impromptu come great. up with shit? Yeah, yeah, I had a lot of points in just this thirty-second time frame. <laughs> yeah, like bullshit, the, bullshit, like, my like, line. Like his, bullshit, bullshit, my line. Like he's <laughs> like, like Christoph Waltz's character's name is Jutnovsky, which uh, apparently everybody has a problem with saying. It's a weird name. But yeah, like, but Jutnovsky, it has Jud, which is already an American well, name. It's Chud, which is an American insult. Oh yes. <laughs> You just but, can't do ch and ja. Okay, yeah. I don't think that the Nazis even had a problem with the Jews. <laughs> I think it was just like, chew! Chew! Yeah. <laughs> it was just a command just, to eat more. It was just like, hey, this indigestion <laughs> is really killing us. <laughs> yeah, they were just about proper eating. <laughs> At least 20 to 30 times you have to chew! No, but I would say, like, James Franco's character, I don't think it was really that he couldn't. The All that in the for 30 whole that seconds. He was being an asshole and saying, What's your name? I'm gonna go out of my way to make yeah. fun of it. Chud what? With yeah. Chud nice gray. Yeah. And then he had his fucking ridiculous accent. That was yeah. one of my notes. Yeah. Yeah, you see? <laughs> yeah, <Chudnovsky>, see? <laughs> we work for you now, see? You work for us. Hello, agent. Yes, I have a role as a bad guy. Let me get my bad guy accent ready. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, I'm the bad guy now from the Bronx, vaguely. Yeah. Can you do evil? Let me see. <laughs> yeah, you nailed, 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 nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. Come on. Uh, uh, well, Nicholas Cage failed it. That's why he didn't um, make this. As his Jimmy, role. Jimmy, Jimmy. Uh, just to check, what are you trying to go for? Right? I'm a bad guy, but Jimmy, like that doesn't. You're just making. It's like yeah, but like hold on. I, I think you're missing the most important part. I'm James Franco. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is a good point. And and <laughs> the real seller. This is a Seth Rogen film. All, all right. right, all right. You guys, you want to be all the parts? You know, <laughs> all the parts. Yeah. <laughs> Which they didn't, which they should have. Wow, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> what a contribution. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoilers. James Franco was not every character in the Green Hornet. I know, it's, uh, it's unrealistic because it's a radio play. It was all played by one person. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But this is an original film, goddammit. <laughs> James Franco was not every character in Seth Rogen's The Green Hornet. <laughs> Who knew? I Seth thought he would at least make it to the Kato. set. <laughs> <laughs> they give him Asian face like it's Cloud Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been great. <laughs> no, because Jesus. it's it's only a mediocre t- train wreck, basically, what we're dealing with here. I'm jumping ahead again. but It's what you would expect from yeah. this film. It's why I never watched it, because it's like it was exactly what I thought it would be. Yeah, very, very stupid. Like, for example, they, they did the whole reason why he brings the his sidekick back is because of coffee and that the other person can't handle the chinese labeled coffee machine like does this shop only have one good coffee machine like this is 120 rooms at least you will have more than one kitchen which means more than one coffee machine at least like you don't spend 30 minutes of getting a coffee that's crazy let him go <laughs> let, him keep, let, let him keep going with this I feel like the fact that like I remained silent should have told you, ooh, I should probably stop talking. Yeah. 
<laughs> you, <laughs> my point's in a salient to the It's usually it opposite, <laughs> Reggie. <laughs> People wait for you to stop talking so they might also have a turn. Yeah, I know, but that's <laughs> not my dynamic at all. Yes, the I, fact that I was not riffing on top of it, I'm aware, I'm aware I should of reconsider. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Well. <laughs> So, I haven't seen a car crash that bad <laughs> since Green Hornet ran a cop off the road. <laughs> <laughs> Which happen, happens multiple in his, times. Yeah, in his first act of vigilant, vigilantism. Yeah, that's a hard word, apparently. Yeah. Vigilantism. Nice. He, it, was, it was to just be like, oh, the cops. Cheese it. Run them off the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, they have this magic car that can perform nearly any tasks you ever want from it. Except it's like, make good coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they that, is put, the, that is the, it's not very a funny observation. Sorry, I hit the microphone. But that is the, cheese. it is the key to the oil and water fucking thing of like, cheese. it's like, yeah, but it's like, we kill people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, oh, cheese. it it's the cops. Boom. That's <laughs> <laughs> not, that's Again, not, it's that's not it's cheese. The, it's it. Like, we're superheroes. It's the, it's We've it's only the, killed 52 people and most of them were innocent bystanders. It's the by, gosh darn it. Whoops. Yeah, it's the gosh darn it mentality of the radio play, basically. Like, ah, oh, see them crooks over there? Yeah, yeah, and then they have hardcore murder in it. Thinly and, veiled. I mean, I admit that the, the, so many the, people are set on fire. Hardcore in, murder with beanbags. Yeah, like there's yeah. people with beanbags and still killing them immediately. Yeah, because it's like 120 beanbags, and it, they have like they've just from the trauma they die in this case. Like it's crazy how much murder they it's commit. It's like if you just like basically they're like, oh, let's use non-lethal our arsenal yeah so we'll use beanbags but they use it in this like way that it's gonna definitely kill you it's like loading a claymore with beanbags <laughs> like it's still going to kill everybody yeah it was just uh, the most painful that way that honestly, you can you could load a claymore with packing peanuts and it would still be deadly yeah and that's yeah. basically what they've done yeah yeah <laughs> well and also they did that thing with the beanbags that as you just explained can also be lethal after they already actually killed people, and then I don't remember, did they ever go back to non lethal methods? No, no, they, they have like, rocket launchers, machine guns, and everything. It was just that one they time. They used guns on people in that same fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because Kato sees it as the only option left after already murdering eight other people. He's like, now I have to choose a gun. <laughs> This heavy they, burden of killing oh, and people. His, and Seth Rogen's gun, which just shoots farts. And is is well, it doesn't shoot, shoot farts. It's a knockout gas, you're a green one. It's recurring. green knockout gas, so it suggests farts, much like all of the dick and gay innuendo that's yeah. spattered throughout the film. It's so. really spattered. Yeah, this is this is a <laughs> spattered movie in total. I don't think Paul knows what spattered means. <laughs> <laughs> when it came out of my mouth, I was half sure it was an actual English word. Splattered? So. It is. Oh, spattered, spattered is is. What you wanted to say? No, Prop, no spattered, spattered is—he used the word right. You just didn't. I thought it was splattered. I think, well, I even think if it was aiming more for smattering. Even if it wasn't, I don't know. Even if it wasn't, the, this whole movie is splattered. Even like, if you were going for splattered, the movie being splattered doesn't make sense. This movie was it was a splattered the film. The movie doesn't make sense. No, it, it's, it's hard to it's formulate a sentence strokes. after watching it. Give brush Paul a break. Splatters. Those are brush strokes, Paul. Learn your art. <laughs> 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 Haven't you ever taken a 20th century me- fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 20th you're not- century Medici Da Vinci course oh. is what I was going to say. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nailed it. Saved it. it. Saved you're it not, and not, nailed I'm gonna it. I'm going to edit <laughs> I'm going to edit it in a way where it seems like you nailed it perfectly. How about that? There's no way. All the words so I said So you mean don't sure. edit it at all? <laughs> mm. You mean editing it out? Okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh my, Reggie's mic isn't even recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have disconnected it at the beginning already. Like, <laughs> Come on. Oh, this, this is a screensaver. This yeah. looks like three microphones recording. <laughs> Can we address the fact that the dad was played by 17 characters? Like, oh, the, yes, the dad um, was like Bob Dylan in the Bob Dylan movie that but had it was like Dead always, Heath Ledger and 12 yeah. black guys. 
No, the Bob Dylan mean, movie. The Bob, there was at least I've one never, black I've person never seen who played. I didn't watch it either, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure. There were, no, there were like at least seven different people who played Bob Dylan in the okay. Bob Dylan movie. And I'm because pretty they all sure, dropped out? Or? No, they, that was part of the concept, was to uh, have a bunch of different people doing it. Okay. No, that and was, one of them was black. That was Dr. Pernaspis. No, that also. Thing. But, but in the Bob Dylan one, for sure. Uh, or I'm wrong. One of the two. But I'm pretty sure the Bob Dylan one had a bunch. It was intentionally let's have Bob Dylan played by a bunch of different people. Hmm. It wasn't the Parnassus where like they just changed whenever they went into the. Nah, that's true. It was like random from scene to scene. It was different. So, yeah, the dad. Um, also, they didn't change the actor. Even they did the twenty year time jump. Like they used the same guy with the same makeup, same hair, but everything. He just changes <laughs> accent. Like yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> this is my older voice. Yeah. Now. yeah. See? Well, now I'm a British guy pretending I'm to be an American. Now. <laughs> Which means no. If there's a twenty year time jump, this means. That, that the fucking dad at the beginning when he was a dickhead already was a dickhead. Was not, already an immortal. Yeah. <laughs> no, but was already a dickhead from the beginning, which means, like, like the change, no, the change to the dickhead thing, like, re uh, because of uh, the whole extortion thing, a, a change of uh, perception for his son, because he was like, oh, he was a dickhead to me because he got, like, uh, yeah. um, threatened with his life and his son. Right. And... But he was a dickhead before that, like when he was a seven-year-old child. It, it didn't have that thing running. No, yeah. Nobody You're stays a DA with t when he's like 18 and stays in office till he's 38. Yeah, but like, what, That's what, not how DAs one work. One thing you're really overlooking is the fact that... Like, the whole movie doesn't make sense? No, but yeah. like, in the end, you even <laughs> said everything that... Okay, so Cato had this Cato vision yes. where he would look into his eyes and it would come back out and you'd see like the, the membranes of his eyes Im yeah. overlaid over everything that he sees and, and then and he target locks and yeah. everybody and like a Seth computer Rogen, it was yeah. t-800 it was he was a terminator and then yeah but the problem is uh, seth rogan for no reason decided to start doing that at the very end and he used it for his <laughs> speculation i'm like oh it's all clicking into place now i finally understand what my father was doing while he had a bunch of imagery that didn't make any fucking sense it was oh like an that was a super crazy carmen diaz <laughs> yeah why not and then at one point her hair Fires up something pushes with blood for no reason. With blood. Then there's like and random like fake fire. It was like a Washington it was a pretty super trippy. jail, and they're like, "Well, kids love Adult Swim, so let's I just think, put that in." I think it. it's Seth Rogen mandated. Like in every of his movies, they have to have at least one trippy sequence. Apparently, but my point is like you were saying, even when that was happening, that everything yeah. he was saying was complete speculation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going on a conjecture tour here. But now you're saying that that conjecture doesn't match up with what happened at the beginning. Like clearly, it wasn't like. We found out later that he was a dick. He was a dick because he ripped his child's, his seven-year-old child's doll's yeah. head, like super, super action figure, the head off of it because he lost a fight. Like, yeah. Because he lost a fight trying to protect somebody else. Like, we already knew he was a dick. Right, and, yeah. And also, he already ran a very success. There's no way in 20 years that made the difference between, like, oh, we're an upstart journalism company to, oh, I have this palatial estate yeah. in Los Angeles. Yeah. Which apparently is paid off because when he died, like, and Seth Rogen fact, started okay, to... If you're going to pull out a no debt collectors came, <laughs> I'm going to be so <laughs> mad at you. You Austrian <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> this is not believable because no one was like, hey, who is going to finish paying for this mortgage? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the movie continues to roll on and they just have one montage after another basically like they go through three different montages in what 20 minutes did you make a note for the keystone cop thing i i thank you i did that was some <laughs> but i didn't scene. write down a joke or anything well I, it was a <laughs> scene that came after a scene and before oh, yeah. some other scene Ooh, right like, this was an original film yeah <laughs> <laughs> But that's as close as I can describe where and how it... They were in the garage. It was him and some girl having... Making out on top of all of these cars. And then they left the thing. But it was all sped up for no reason to Keystone Speed. It was like... Well, Benny Hill yeah. reference people might actually get. Because yeah. apparently not everybody is silent film buffs. Apparently not everybody <laughs> went to, into mimery for an occupation. <laughs> <laughs> Commoners. <laughs> <laughs> Those plebs. That's oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Words, what is this? They don't appreciate art down in the sewers. Words dilute art, don't you know? <laughs> but it was, it was ridiculous. I just wanted to come back to when the father actually died. 
<laughs> from a bee sting. Cause, cause, so the movie opens and the guy's six and his dad's just like, you fail, you fail all the time, you're shit. I'm not going to help you, but you have to become better because you're shitty. And then that goes on for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> Uninterrupted. And, no, and then his dad... So, and then so his, if the son but, has to be at, what, eight, nine, probably? Ten, ten, 12 absolute tops. No, he that was, was not a 12-year-old kid. Top, absolute top. Paul, you looked like you were 12 until you were 30. So 20 years later makes him 32 at the top. He's, However he's old he is, yeah. was with the 20 years later, it's 20 years <laughs> of that. 20 of years no of, personal development. Of you suck. You suck. Your dad, his dad, like, you suck. Fuck he's you. A piece of fuck garbage. you. Yeah. Do better. But you suck. I'm not going to help you. You're a piece of garbage. Dad dies. Seth Rogen's character takes over the newspaper. His first day coming into work, everybody stands up and is like, oh, you lost your dad and we care about you. Where were any of them in the 20 years to like stand up to his <laughs> fucking dad to be like, sorry, buddy, your dad's yeah. a dick. He, has, he hasn't bonded with anybody, apparently, but, like, nobody... because he fired all of the yeah, workers the at, the, uh, at, at, at his estate. Uh, since when is the, the hierarchy process of hiring a CEO for a well-established corporation? Oh, you inherit it like a king. Like <laughs> uh, family oh. business. They they actually mentioned that one. That means that the dad probably had a operating share of the company, which will be inherited to him if the will specified so. Which I'm guessing a rich douchebag like him probably wouldn't have done that actually. Right. Like, he Why wouldn't would he give, give it to the it guy, guy that he day? knows is a fuck up perpetually? I feel like the, the dad is a businessman enough to where he's gonna be like, if I die. It, well, if he even thinks about it, he might be like, oh, I'm rich. Why would I die? But <laughs> he's like, if I die, I want to make sure this company doesn't immediately fail by my stupid knucklehead son being in charge of it. Oh, Let's put Next of Lina up there. But then once the, the kid was like, hey, you know what? I, I'm not the guy to run this company. They're like, well, you're in charge of it now. He's like, okay, step one, fire everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I want to maintain my father's legacy. And if I don't know anything, nobody can know anything. Yes. My father was a dick for no reason. I'll be a dick for no reason. Let's hire Cameron Diaz. Until I find out that <laughs> coffee doesn't taste as good without a person making it for me. In which case, I'll hire back one of those people and not pay him a salary position to do <laughs> right. way more work. Right. Did they ever get paid? He's like, we're partners. It's like, are we partners? Because I think I still make all the money, and you just make all my shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're brothers, man. So, like, why are you even asking oh, for they money? Had we're Sean hard- D, motherfucker. They had, yeah. they had some hardcore moments where they really tried to make them bond, and it didn't go James well. James Bond? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I just like that, like, whenever they had their whole, like, it's like, we're, Sh- we're Shandy. And then they had this whole, like, love triangle thing with them both trying to fuck a woman who doesn't want to fuck them. They're like, I, <laughs> Which is actually pretty funny. I don't know. I feel like that at some point should have been like, you know what? You know what? We should get over this. Fucking Shandy before Panty. You know what I'm saying? High five. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Paul. Probably not even necessary at this point. No, no, I can leave right What? <laughs> We already covered Flood, you dick. <laughs> mm. So they have a. Like, let's mo- move on to the end because all they want to do is keep being like well, villains. Move we, on we, to the end. Yeah. What about well, all of well, the well, great what stuff? What about the, the beginning? <laughs> uh, well, no, I think before we get to the end, we should at least address Bloodnovsky because yes. he was scene number two. Uh huh. Yeah, and Bloodnovsky or Chetnovsky, as he's oh, yeah, inti- yeah. In- initially named. Uh, is the villain played by Christoph Waltz and he steals basically every scene. He's the best thing of... This is very refreshing for an Austrian to see that the one part of a train wreck is not resp- in the hands responsible of an Austrian. Robin all over again? Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, because Arnold Schwarzenegger was the only, only good, good part thing. of the movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Did you know that in Batman and Robin, Mr. Freeze, Arnold Schwarzenegger gets first billing... Yeah, in a, in a movie that Clooney is this is Batman. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't see that. Right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. First it's billing. a horrible movie, but no, I know the movie, but I'm trying to remember the poster. Billing. Yeah. Well, no, I, when we watch the movie, I guess the first the... thing that comes up in the opening credits. Missed that. Yeah. Okay. Well, shit. And when you watch yeah. the movie, you understand why. But it's, no, I, it's a dog shit movie. And, I've seen the movie. And I don't remember to it. To the yeah. movie's credit, we believe that Bloodnovsky is the major crime lord in this city. Like, he's the only one that, at the beginning at least, runs a proper business. Like, he... believe it. Like, he clearly... He kills all the other people because they owe him favors. 
Yeah, of course he's the main crime guy. Yeah, but I mean, the, opening to the scene with him credit. saying, "Hey, fuck you! I'm, I'm, what, you're opening this business selling narcotics in my territory without yeah. even a can I? Fuck you! You're signing this over to me. I would hope we believe that." Yeah, and like, there's so much unbelievable shit in this movie that this is actually like a gem in there that like reflects. Oh, it's some, great! I, yeah. I, I love it. like for me that's clown the the, the self the <laughs> self doubting. Yeah, yes. the self-doubting villain that's not really the, actually good at his job. Like he's a serious, fucking crazy. You, you do not think I am scary? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has. How much you so suggest that I become almost scary? Can we address his gun? Uh, oh, hey. oh yeah, the gun. Please Google it's the a gun. double barrel. Yeah, it, the double it's very gun. hard to. It like, it's hard to make, you know. It wasn't even like that a double was barrel, his, like a like an elephant gun. It was just two. It was desert just, eagles, just two desert eagles, like welded together. Yeah, and with then, one magazine, which makes it, you shoot double the amount of ammunition one and hit half the targets, except for clip, the end barrel. where and we also, see why he always no, hits also, with both bullets also, no, when he wants no, to. No, that was the first time he did that because in the first ones he, he didn't have time. He just went boom, boom. Yeah, but like, he shot have, four guys with two shots. That's my is, point. Yeah, there's no way he could fucking aim that, and he didn't. Do, do that. that, yeah. But so it's the thing where it's like, yes, he has twice the amount of ammunition with, uh, like you know, fifty percent of the amount of gun, but also zero percent of the accuracy <laughs> because he has no way of aiming because there's no center it's point so for your stupid. iron sights. Yeah. You're always going just like slightly to the left and right. Yeah, and he just gets it every time. Yeah, for again for Willen having such a stupid, stupid thing as a weapon. It, it, he plays it perfectly, and you, you, his plan. Do not think I am original. I have, I have a gun with two barrels. That's pretty <laughs> not, not interesting, right? Yeah. <laughs> the Mack truck actually made you mad. Uh, his, his, his ruse with the Mack trucks. That was really trap. Stupid. But first off, Disco yeah. Santa Claus. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two, di two different times where the movie tries a disco insult yeah. that doesn't make any sense no sense yeah he was wearing like a like black shirt black, yeah. black pants like a, like a jacket that was black but had like maybe like a paisley kind of like suede thing going on at most but it was all like it looked like an 1880s key. french wallpaper it was quite <laughs> that might be the best reference i've ever heard you make <laughs> <laughs> Oh, appreciation. <laughs> Finally, it came true. Okay, I take it back. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was like so low key. And he's like, you look like a disco Santa Claus. Yeah. And then the next one, uh, it was whenever Seth Rogen's character wanted to just talk about Green Hornet in the newspaper. And like, I know you're trying to turn this newspaper into a disco tech. <laughs> what? <laughs> First off, why is a awesome. guy in LA saying disco tech? <laughs> It's a What's very with common all this expression. Lighting. Yes. It's like hippie central in here. I smoked a doobie once. I know what the jazz is about. Look, you and your it's youngsters disco. with your Molly and yeah. your newspapers <laughs> and shoving your vodka tampons up your ass. I did five separate stories about it. I know it. Quality ta uh, tabloid magazine. What if the magazine actually was a tabloid? What if the magazine was like a clip for a gun? Also, <laughs> <laughs> because it's a newspaper, not a magazine. I get it. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, at, at, at several occasions, you mentioned that I could have written this movie. I, I'm not <laughs> convinced you didn't, dude. <laughs> Like, it was, it, honestly, you guys, if you listen to fucking, <laughs> this is episode 73? You've, uh, yeah. You've heard 72 and a half episodes of this fucking podcast. Honestly, you know Paul's level. And this was not above it. This was not above it at all. <laughs> no, but like, there was so much when I'm just like, this seems exactly like something that Paul would fucking write. <laughs> yes. So... They kill a lot of cops in this one. Oh, they they don't solve any crimes. Like all they well, do, they solve they it by the, kill them. They the, go after the gang members. Yeah. But the only people that the gang members ever killed in this movie, even after the inclusion of Green Hornet, is other gang members who cross them. The only people who are getting hurt were bad guys until Green Hornet came in. Yeah. And just added like a, an Avengers level of collateral damage <laughs> but in a very ah oh, cripes manner again again it, it, it's if they made Knight Rider <laughs> it's if it's if, if they, they, they let a Texan yep, yeah, design okay, I'll take it. it was close just a little bit yeah. like I the, almost went Jiminy but. <laughs> 
I mean, the <laughs> chimney. The meth lab's on fire. Yeah. The, Golly gee. <laughs> the, the car could have been designed by like. The meth lab's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Golly gee, all my meth's going up in smoke. Zoinks. <laughs> 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 Golly gee, no! <coughs> well, Lenovsky's gonna k- 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 kill me! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a, a green hornet! <laughs> Ooh, brother! Let's not go over He did. They drove. They, no, oh, there's a meth lab inside of there. Let's drive our car through the wall. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck kind of retarded move is that? When meth labs blow up with no external intervention. <laughs> also, the, well, the, the idea was to give that one guy the card, basically. The business card with the excellent email address. With an email address that wasn't a Gmail so that you can just, like, you know, an- anonymity. It was gh at greenhornet.net. Dot net, by they the had, way. They had to use uh, a credit card to, which to buy this. Had to use a credit card Live. to purchase the domain and then had to register the domain address to fucking you. Yeah. Like, that's a, <laughs> I have, a, I have a website, Paul. You have a website. Yeah. You have a website. I do. You have to put your address down yeah. somewhere. Like it's something. It's very yes, otherwise they just shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had to externally host this. Again, I'm convinced that there are like 50 to 100 people that Cato actually hired to do all the work. Uh, while, while, while Seth All Rogen is oblivious. Yeah. We hired just to aid in the making business <laughs> Yeah, part. exactly. He has like, like an Alfred also, type of butler that he actually, hired and he's like, I need to keep it like un- under wraps that I'm Green Hornet so I'll hire the secretary. Hey, you, predict what Green Hornet's gonna do and I'll use that as my modus operandi yeah. for the rest of the movie. <laughs> also, pick, out, she's not pick like, out the ooh, green I've, tie that... Green Hornet's gonna suddenly start wearing. Also, print these business cards. Yeah. But I wonder who Green Hornet is. <laughs> yeah, she's like. Who should it be? Yeah, I'm like. She's well, like. She's she a blonde like, woman. She doesn't know. That's yeah, blonde. that's true. She's yeah. a blonde woman in 2010. This it's is the worst kind of Cameron. It's the worst kind of Cameron. It's the, it's the worst kind of Before Cameron people Diaz got all giggly wiggly. About Before the whole Me Too thing started turning the Hollywood celebrity tour <laughs> in their <laughs> sex registry into the same thing. Before this Me Too hogwash. Got in the way of our, fu- of, our fu- of, our, of our fun, of this, of our whole rapey fun kerfuffle office play that we, you know. I remember the simpler days when rape was just a good-hearted prank. <laughs> cool movie, guys. So crazy. No. Oh, we back we, to talk so, more yeah, about so, this amazing cinematic adventure. So they I'm gonna give we a green star. <laughs> <laughs> but Reggie. Why green? <laughs> <laughs> Ninja Turtles, Jim. Yeah. Ah, right. Oh, the amount of, of green that they used was obnoxious to a degree. Like, they had stuff that didn't have to like be green. Like grass? <laughs> <laughs> and why did they keep showing that red turtleneck? I can only yeah. suspend my disbelief so far. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kato was definitely red colored. Like, his vision was red colored too. But that's cinematography. We're going to like, talk all about his this later. Were black no, that's for be- most of the movie. That's because he's a Terminator. Oh, yeah, right, yes. He's definitely the, the better Arnold Schwarzenegger model. He's smaller, more efficient, you know, faster, He harder, sees better, in the same stronger. view. He can make a mega cup of coffee. Yes. And his dick is tiny from steroids. So. <laughs> <laughs> because he kicks people at at a at a f- amount of force that, like, puts Captain America to shame. Is it's, Captain America known for kicks? Yes. Is he? Yes. You haven't... Uh, whatever. It's a thing. People will know. All the other caps with the pumped up kicks better something. <laughs> better something! <laughs> you failed on this so hard! It. I nailed it. I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Yeah. yeah, fuck ball. <laughs> Save that one. <laughs> yeah. So the, I don't know. Yeah, K- not, Kato has as much remorse for <clears throat> killing people as Bloodnovsky. That yeah. was like... But, Kato, he's the, but he was the most... No, that plan he was of the most, being like, He was villains. supposed to be your sympathetic character in the whole movie because I can't imagine how they expected us to like the Seth Rogen character. And we and all of us agree. We don't give a shit if anybody dies at any point in this movie. We just don't give a fuck. Except Kato's kind of cool, but Kato's an android. Also a murderer. He's a Terminator. Well, and yeah. he's a murderer. Kato yeah. handles, like, killing people like an autistic person burning ants with a magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> no remorse. Just, like, just huh, so. that's how that happens. Yeah. <laughs> also, also... <laughs> I don't like that like my autistic and my Austrian accents are the same. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, he also he he apparently leaps through dimensions at the beginning where they had that three D effect where all of them. That three D effect he, made no goddamn. He, he jumped. Of, he no, jumped that's over. That's cinematography. 
That's oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. forget yeah. that. Scratch that. Spoiler yeah. alert. Stop yeah. it. <laughs> Very important stuff. Yes. Oh, also the bee kill. <coughs> Like his dad got killed allegedly through a bee, and we learned that the guy just pulled planted it. a bee on him like drugs on a black inner city youth. It was amazing. He got like a little plastic bag that I can mean, only he was be used the DA, for an So age. he was like, "Let's just let this case disappear. Let's not look into the wound, which is definitely not the prick of a, well, of he, a bee yeah, sting." He forced a hypodermic needle into a man's jugular, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "Bees usually sting you in main arteries." Also, the the bee most of the times leaves the stinger and dies. So I'm sure he there was a I'm bee sure at the scene of the crime. Yeah. I think we could pretty much <laughs> call this have case seen, closed. Have you, have you guys seen mall rats? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, mall rats. When the mall cop is gonna plant the drugs on them, <laughs> like that's the same like <laughs> kind of <laughs> silent thing that he did when he just like pulled out a bee and then just kind of shaked it out of a thing like he's about to like line just some lines <laughs> out of of a woman's tits and he's like oh, the bee landed on the man. Oh, the bee that's not stinging on the man like a bee that like stung you pulled out. Died immediately. <laughs> Couldn't even like fly away first. Just landed like like going down Woo! with the, I'm going down yeah. with this shit. And then, <laughs> Yolo. Oh, can we can we please talk about the poetic justice that uh, occurs at the end with Bloodnovsky, which you mean get- the the stupid <laughs> fucking oh the, look at us we're deep. Like oh uh, yeah, his weapon is getting eyes. used. The, the, the Looney him. Tunes wood, wooden stakes of the uh, Ooh, Ooh, Frank and Roger Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was this. It, it was, was amazing. Here. They were yeah. out to here. He took his stupid double gun, and yeah. you find out for suddenly that he can adjust the aim, which is not an effective weapon. Of like, <laughs> oh, with all in one hand, it, I can. He I uses can this in this one barrels. particular case where he had to shoot on. Two things at the same time to make it equally fall well, down. But done guys, before, yeah. no problem. But, but now it's like, oh, look at these. These completely move independently. And I can easily, with one hand, take care of all that while I'm trying to shoot and calibrate for two people who have guns and are shooting at me. And then he does it only so that he can go, I, I put one barrel <laughs> on each of Cato's eyes. Like, oh, sleep well, you princes of Maine. You kings of New England. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then... He's going to shoot Kato in the eyes, and then Kato, in poetic justice, catches the legs of a chair that explodes yep. in front of him. Just catches them, and in one fluid motion, Breaks double it in stabs, half. double but, stabs uh, Bloodnovsky yeah. in, uh, in the face. Like, like, like both of his eyeballs are vampires, and we need to free <laughs> ourselves from Dracula's curse. Yeah. <laughs> and at this point, we're not supposed to go, damn, that's some cold shit. Kato was a Terminator. We're like... Oh, that's so Kato. Yeah. Aww. Aww, Kato. He's still, he's still the most human in this. Look, look it was, it was unflinching when he, as he did it. That's oh. what I'm saying. He doesn't. Yeah, yeah. No, the murder the, kids. Why not? Casey had more remorse. It's, <laughs> and Paul and Paul asked early on in the movie, "This is PG-13. How is this PG-13?" And Reggie was like, "There's there were no nipples." Yeah. <laughs> Because Cameron Diaz ever showed her fucking bush, fucking prude ass bitch. Yeah. Why do you think you're still in movies? All right. It's not because of your face or your personality. You made an entrance into this movie with the same way you did in The Mask in '94. All I right? mean, you are 17 to you are a fuckable person's age away from being fuckable. You fucking Twilight Cougar. <laughs> <laughs> nice callback to the Twilight thing. I like it. <laughs> I like it. No, but Jim's like I want to agree, but I don't know how to fit the word nigger into this sentence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and and the I best thing is I want to not agree, but I don't want to step on you. Do you? <laughs> but Please. I'm just gonna. I'll be over here, and you. Okay. The end set piece with the half a car battle was one of the most they had atrocious. A thing with half a cars. Huh? They had a thing with half a car. Yeah, because they had the the hedge that splits open. Right. And they split the car in half to do yeah. it. I have not said boo so many times in the movie. Like it was, it was Paul the movie. But yeah, the end scene. Oh, and he like they they they, they the the car is like this magical thing that's ninety percent guns, eight percent a vinyl record player, and three chilled glasses of whiskey. Why is there whiskey? Drinking and driving. This is the most irresponsible. Car that's technically still a car, but really it's more of a gun than well, attached also, to. Also, it's like the fact that it kept running. You're like, it's 80% guns, uh, 1% record player, 3% yeah. turtle whiskey, and the rest is just perpetual energy. Because oh, it's drive. It's like, oh, the this escape car, bench. It gets 30 miles to the non existent gas tank. Yeah. <laughs> And it has it has it has an magical escape pod as well, 
where the bench just flips out and has rocket boosters it's attached magical. to it. magical. It's called science, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you Kato... explained it. It worked with rockets. Yeah, Kato was... He is the most genius man alive. He's the most crazy-ass underachiever ever. He's apparently... Uh, 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 like in narcotics because he developed just developed a knockout gas that uh-huh. kicks a person's butt for three days and then in three days also adjusted it to where it went from three days to only lasting an hour <laughs> on what did he test it to help that's why it took three days for him to wake back up <laughs> it, it was working only two hours at a time we started reducing just keep blasting him in the face <laughs> In between, actually, he just keeps, Seth Rogen just keeps waking up while he's changing his diaper, and he's like, "I don't want to have to live with this memory." <laughs> yeah, there was, there was adult, there was adult diaper comedy in this movie. Yep, that yep, was, yep, yep. That happened. Mm-hmm. Okay, why not? Yeah. Uh, yeah, multiple jizz jokes. But Kate, but Kate, like what? Well, I remember you bringing up jizz. You yeah. just saw a white liquid, and you're like, oh, that's probably jizz. I should drink it. <laughs> or I just imagined it in this case, maybe. I don't know. It is like, knockout gas. You're it, like, oh, jizz. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Those... conscious for three days. It's so much jizz. <laughs> <laughs> but Kato, Kato is, is... What, you don't come in your pants regular? <laughs> What is Kato? Yeah. <laughs> Please. So, um, <laughs> Reggie, uh, you understand the dynamic now? I really <laughs> do. I get it. No, Kato's good at everything. He makes the coffee maker. He made these amazing cars, and Seth yeah. Rogen is discovering so this many early cars. on in the movie. And then Seth Rogen sees one of Kato's sketches, and he's like, "Oh, this is pretty good. You could do oh, something Bruce with Lee. these." Oh, Bruce Lee! Wow, that looks. Like you, actually. No, it yeah. sounded more like. Wow, so maybe I misheard the words, but it sounded like he was like, "Oh." Yeah, you keep going, Kim. Maybe you make something of this. Make something of yourself from these little sketches. After he'd already made giant car well, fucking things. And, and on top of that, Kato with his little sketches. And he's he can do everything, but yeah. Kato does have a dark, shameful secret. Oh, yeah, right. We forgot the secret. He can't swim. Oh, yeah. 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 It, was like this, it was like this after-school, American after-school special. It was like, I... Oh. So I good. never learned to swim. I was uh, too busy on the main streets by myself racing like that's, cars. That's the moment where I realized that His the movie is literally treading water. Maybe Machines he's not, can't swim. Maybe he's not a Terminator <laughs> after all, but oh. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, never mind. Yeah. He is. He's a robot. Yeah. He was saved by an inflatable lobster. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I like actually Paul's, uh, like, oh, he's like the biggest underachiever ever. Because at first I wanted to disagree because... Paul said it, but, the, <laughs> but I thought about it. It the made too much sense. Well, no, the thing is, like, as you started saying it, yeah, it is this thing where like he <coughs> can make three, two new cars in three days with no problem, all with all the works. Again, he, those crazy ass gun cars we were talking yeah, about earlier. He can make two new guns with wheels in, <laughs> in three days. <laughs> Like all oh, and we're not crazy. exaggerating. In one scene, we see that the doors are actually also guns. Like, three-barreled yeah. guns in the doors. We have this armored car that is bulletproof and completely impenetrable. But we decided we need more weapons on this. <laughs> so let's open the door and make ourselves vulnerable. That's like if you're like wearing like an Iron Man suit and you're like, look, I want to add one more gun, so how about I just expose my jugular? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so stupid. Yeah, um, so I, he's making all those in the same time that he also... Adjusted this gas and all uh, of these registered things, that email address. I think they'd already had that at that point. Cause yeah, they, yeah, because oh, they'd okay. already gone out before. I don't know. No, they just kicked. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I don't whatever. Know, it's not worth it. Yeah. But <laughs> my point is, all of that, and he spent the past fifteen years making coffee like, and being the work <laughs> repairman for the cars. For cars that had no function. None of these guns were necessary also, until halfway through. Also, this movie. he made it for his dad. Which means that his dad was also had a vigilante nature of some sort. Otherwise, why would you need this crazy ass car? I don't think his dad had a vigilante thing, or else it would have been a vigilante ahead of this. I think he was just putting shit in the car. <laughs> I think he just really hated his boss. Like, nobody loves their boss. So the I'm expenditure just hide report on this. weaponry in this car. Dude, so no matter what, I don't care if you're report. driving dirty or Crazy. not. Crazy. You're gonna get arrested for uh two military, two Ugandan militaries worth of equipment. <laughs> <laughs> also, the green headlights. Why the green headlights? Yeah, so that you definitely get pulled over <laughs> for your not street let's, legal let's, headlights. Let's make this. From a far easily identifiable car, uh, identifiable car, like the cops don't have helicopters. Which really in is, L.A. Which I'm sure this is a hack bit going to Batman, but for this one, yeah. he really hammered home like. 
this motherfucker gets stuck in traffic like, <laughs> on, a, <laughs> on a regular basis. It's you're LA. Yeah, at, you're at fucking two hours to get to La Cienega. And it's <laughs> it's not like the tumbler of Batman where he can just road kill everybody by going over them. It's a normal. It looks like a normal ass car, but still it but has with more. Green light. You were just yeah. stuck at a red light. Good luck. This is, I mean, this he is, has the rocket launcher. He just blows away everybody yeah, that is standing there. You made an enemy of every single gang in this city. All it takes is one person on a motorcycle because it's legal to drive in between lanes yeah. on a motorcycle with While a you box in to just fucking do it. Because, you know, it gets hot, all right? And, like, AC is going to kill the gas, especially gas prices in L.A. in, in the summer. You're yeah. going to want to roll down that window. No more Kato, man. <laughs> No, he's a robot again, and I think he just would have survived that. He spits the bullets back out like the <laughs> villain in the mask. <laughs> <laughs> no, K- Kato, Kato is really, really the underdog of this story, as he is... He intentionally <laughs> didn't give himself a name. Like, yeah. Seth Rogen tried to give him, like, so many names in this, most of them garbage, but, like... The, oh, the, the idea of there must hey, have been have so much Seth Rogen up. spitballing in this one. There has been to be like so much improvised shit that just they were like, yeah, I guess we keep this. I guess. Uh, well, I, we didn't write anything better. So. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah, no, but I just think like, like the, the, even if the names that were given to you were bad, the option of a name at least like the topic comes up. Maybe you should think about it, especially when you're mad that you're not getting enough credit when you've intentionally dressed in all black yeah. and not <laughs> given yourself a name. Yeah. <laughs> And you have a printing press. I should be at least Mr. Anonymous or something. They own a journalism company. The only reason people know about Green Hornet is because he owns the, 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 the paper and said, we're putting this on the front page, who is the Green Hornet? We have the best PR possible because this is a journalism company that can afford a palatial estate <laughs> in the hills. It's palatial? So, pal- yeah, that's... Like a palace, relating to a palace. Yeah, yeah, no, I got... That it's we can, we it's can like glacial. Lang- we can do glacial is a word. All right, it's cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we can use the words in the language. Right? <laughs> no, I mean, but like, you know, palace, I know. But palatial. Like I'm you have a like scholastic a jerk. A mansionic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also. Mansioniacal. <laughs> Blatnovsky's one liner was amazing. That when was he named yeah. himself Blatnovsky. No. Oh, Thunder, Thunder strikes, strikes lightning. lightning. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Whoa. No, that I I really enjoyed. It that. doesn't even make sense. Exactly. That's the point. <laughs> That's my point. <laughs> yeah, and we That's take what, it and use it as a positive. Absurdist and delivered by a good enough actor performer, I buy it. If anyone else would have again random shit. It's that same of him trying to be a villain. That's these like, ha Christoph, Christoph well, Waltz really scary? sells it. Yeah. You think I'm not scary? Let me give you one-liners. Those are snappy and grave. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Let me show you. Thunderstrike lightning. Yeah. See? <laughs> it's almost like, it's like Tomash's bit about how like when you're getting mugged, they just ask you a random question to yeah. confuse you so you don't know how to respond. Like Tomash is like, oh, what are you doing? What are you not doing? They're like, what am I not doing? That's some deep shit right now. And, and, and you're your getting phone. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And this is, is like, thunder strikes lightning. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> By the time you figure it out, you're buried. <laughs> <laughs> Again, he is the most capable person in this next to Kato. Like, it should have been just Kato big versus... drop off, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, the, the Wonder Boy is crazy. Like, he's... You're dealing with... The, the least competent, spoiled trust fund kid ever, and his secretary, who can't figure out that he's Green Hornet, despite the fact that she bought his entire wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, compared to that, Blatnowski actually is very incompetent. <laughs> I have not figured out earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, true, true, truth to that. So, cinematography. Oh, oh yeah. His, uh, his email address chud at cementforce.com <laughs> oh, that's visual that's visual we can use that for cinematography cinematography <laughs> <laughs> he's amazing so stupid it, like yes no it, that, that, will, that a 50 year old guy would use his work email because he couldn't figure out IT is totally believable I mean I'll, I'll say this much <laughs> as ridiculous as, uh, as much fun as we had watching that freeze frame of that email mm-hmm. yeah that was at least all intentional. Like, yeah. the way they wrote that, that was definitely... They've gone out of their way to give it chud at <laughs> cementforest.com. <laughs> you take... I'll take half the city. Such you take a good the pun. L, I take the A. Dude, like, that's such a good pun name. My name is Chud, chud. Cementforce. 
No, it's not. Oh yeah, because my my dick is uh, is, is granite hard, uh, 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 concrete hard. <laughs> Keep going. Oh. Bring us to Rip City, Paul. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on home. <laughs> Double down. Can you please submit Fucking four triple, triple, triple down. down. Maybe, maybe that'll to, work. To, to, to Rip City. Triple down. Quadruple down, Paul. You just... You do you, man. Oh, uh, dude, I, I, I just... Well, please cement force this to be funny. I <laughs> yeah. really need you. No, no, you laid the I- initial groundwork now, but I should really, uh, brick by brick, make See? my own... <laughs> make your own jokes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should really, brick by brick, make stuff funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have laid the groundwork by a, a, a humorous bed. <laughs> it's really all you have to do is just kind of lean upwards. <laughs> but like it's not even low hanging fruit, but I've, I've pulled the branch down. All you have to do is just kind of squeeze, and you're not nailing it. You should never nail brickwork. That's not how you. Boo! <laughs> 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 this motherfucker, like, if you were building something, you'd be using a brick as a hammer. Like, oh, fuck, I'll make a joke funny. Fucking <laughs> uh, I'm truly stuck between a rock and a hard place. Uh, All right. I need to make a joke about a brick. A brick joke? A joke brick. It is a fake. Oh, no, nope, really broke the window. Okay, yeah, but it's broken. <laughs> it's a very concrete idea. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> stay with me. It'll be a hard journey, oh, but eventually that's, that's, that's way too good for Paul. <laughs> uh, oh, look at the cement roller has rolled over them. They really got brick rolled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I mention this? There was there was one up. I'm rebarring both of your future cement-based jokes. <laughs> ah. Can I do the same thing with you for just jokes? <laughs> <laughs> Let's let's do, dude. Let's do a, a mean boys version podcast of you, somebody else you like, and me. <laughs> okay, so me, someone I like, and you. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Great. It was intentional, asshole. All right. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> mean boys, try again. <laughs> was I mean? I, I'm boyish. Uh, do you want to actually do like writing stuff ahead of time? We should That's discuss what the this on the podcast. podcast. Yeah, yeah, we should. Yeah. Spin off. <laughs> spin off. We're going to spin off to a pre existing podcast <laughs> that we're not affiliated with. Yes. Mean Boys. We're just going to steal the concept. That's what Europe does. Look, I learned from Fat Loom Rex Hippie that like, <laughs> we need to just, just steal stuff. And uh, if anybody questions it, Dude, I, should I keep this in? I'll give a shit about Fat Loom. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Burning bridges that don't, don't exist. exist. Burning bridges to nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and in like five years, we are, we are on his Kosovian uh, uh, t- talk Is that show. The word? Is it Kosovian? I have no idea. I just pulled that out of my head. I don't even know if they've ever come up with a word for people from Kosovo because it's <laughs> never come up. Kosovakian? <laughs> Kosovian. We just call them niggers. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm bleep version. I'm the 18. Please turn off now. Honestly, if they're under 18. <laughs> you just shouldn't. My be. number is... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, DJ James Six, seven, seven. <laughs> has, it, has manifested himself next to me. Interesting. <laughs> On the v- 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 ones what and two year olds. <laughs> oh, Paul's a pedophile. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Mm. He go, he's not, but he's not just. Okay, here's the thing about Paul. Uh, I, I called him a pedophile in a, a few episodes back, or a few episodes of me being on it yeah. back, and he was like, no, stop it. No, I'm not. And then at our live podcast that Jack and I did uh, last month, Paul. I, I called him DJ James, and suddenly he was fine with it. He's like, look, I might, I'm not a pedophile. Oh, I have a talent also? Okay. <laughs> like, oh, I have a skill set. It's You're a rich a... character now. Yeah. And now he's fine with being My CV is DJ really James. filling out nicely. <laughs> I, not not, not a... pedophile, DJ. I, uh, look, I may be a pedophile, <laughs> but I will give you the best soundtrack. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But no one will hear your screams of these funky jams. <laughs> Sweet dreams of You ever been raped to Marvin Gaye? <laughs> <laughs> Sexual healing. <laughs> oh, man. 
<laughs> We're going to make her mature. <laughs> <laughs> no, just... <laughs> S- sexual healing while you're raping somebody. <laughs> that, hashtag you're welcome. No, that's just. Uh. Oh, super doc. Yes, yes it is. I mean, honestly, yeah. that's the kind of superheroism that I would expect from the Green Hornet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving the world, one dead innocent person at a time. <laughs> oh yeah, N- next to the manslaughter thing. He, he, okay, okay, so. We're still in cinematography. 3D. Uh, we haven't started cinematography. 3D. I mean, that's the, that's the thing yeah. we have to talk about. Oh, it is the most garbage thing ever. You should explain the, the, what yeah. you told us about it. Yeah, so what happened was, because of the popularity of 3D at this point, the studio decided to make this 2D movie into a 3D movie and reshot some scenes and edited the crap out of After the rest. it was already a movie. Yeah, exactly. Decided, yeah. yeah, and it made some of the scenes jarring as hell like the Made flicking no bottle caps at the beginning it, it is just them slowly going off screen and like landing no, 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 in the okay. distance no, and i'm like setting it up all wrong you're yeah it up wrong. sorry first off, we should point out this yeah. is the first time they've introduced any 3d elements to this movie the intro actually had some 3d effects as well but whatever okay the well, movie itself it didn't have it was definitely like the movie itself hadn't done anything that like really utilizes it i mean we didn't watch yeah. it in 3d but like nothing that like stands out this one was so on the nose ham-fisted let's do this to where kato has two heine or two coronas i know that because product placement <laughs> so, yeah. well yeah. that one the product placement in this movie was on point too so he has the two coronas like do you want a beer and he's like sure i'd love one and then Kato just looks at his beers and then, boom, hits him. And it unscrews two caps at once in one karate chop, which mm-hmm. should already let you know he's a goddamn martial arts expert. <laughs> yeah. He's a Terminator. And it just, it, 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 flick, it unscrews them and flings them across the room like these frisbees. Like, and like it zooms in on them, so they're the main focus. And it's just like you're following these two golden frisbees flying across the room for like a good... Seven seconds? At least, yeah. It feels like forever. Oh, just following bottle caps flying. When no it was just, joke. It was just in the middle of a conversation. There yeah. was no joke. It just interrupted that to be like, Look at this, By how cool this way, is. By the way, 3D exists. Here is some. I no, guess, I guess that, movie I guess that, that we that, cobbled together. I guess yeah. that explains the $120 million budget. Because Just otherwise, that scene. You no know, one. Yeah, the three D definitely has to, had to cost like a fortune to make under this time pressure with that many effects. But because like, they ham-fisted it into everything. I don't the know, cars. That one was let's the go to the cars. Like no, the let's go to the cars. Yeah, the cars. Uh, Kato just runs over the hood of a car, and they decided, oh, let's seven fold it and he jumps oh, over every part, yeah. single one of them yeah, which means he can split dimensions or is he just really fast because he made the distance of seven yeah. cars to, to show that in fast, this, this, it, what? It stretched what? out the cars and now he's having to instead of just stepping to show that he's fast it made him take longer to get over the cars because instead of just jumping over but one there car but there are no cars run, it's one no, car no, that's my point. Like he's, on, he's just jumping over one car to prove that he's fast they turn that one car into seven cars and they make him run over all of that in a time that would take longer than just showing him fucking Dukes of Hazard slide over the car. Yeah. Dude. And they did that with, that was Kato Vision just repeating things for multiple for no reason. Just like boop, 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 boop. now there are six Cameron Diaz's and their hair is all blowing upwards for no reason. Yeah. Uh, I think it was three for Cameron it is Diaz. it is so crazy. <laughs> he that it is so crazy at points that I feel like it's a like more of a uh 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 like somebody's dying and imagining that it's the stuff. The DMT trip that you hit whenever you're near yeah. death throws. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's what is happening actually the whole movie through. It's just the dad is dying, he's dying and he's imagining the, a, a, the one person, uh, the one way his fucked up son actually became like a responsible human being by being a mass murderer. No, no, he's not even doing that. He's got sung <laughs> by the bee, but his fucking big billionaire one percent ego won't let him believe he got killed by a bee. <laughs> he's having this fever. Dream. Where it's a giant conspiracy with a gentleman with a hypodermic needle and dropped a dead bee on him. <laughs> Better That's movie. the only way that it makes sense that a titan, a sentinel like me, could be taken out. Better movie. <laughs> I'm telling you, I still think they should just make a movie called St. Patrick's Day, but it's a spin off of that one scene where they just killed everybody they saw in green, green in the city. Yeah. The point, the point oh, the yeah, morning. we totally forgot the murder montage. Yeah, where they. Yeah. Just kill which one? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's okay, kids. It's PG thirteen. It's no okay. Boobs, no they, cooch. They did Keystone earlier, so it's so it's goofy. It's yeah. wacky. <laughs> you know, eh. P 
People die. I would. I, I stand by. I would love to see a movie where it's like a completely like serious yeah. thr- slasher movie, and they just do it all in Keystone for no reason. <laughs> Never address it, and maybe even Google, put like a, Google Keystone if you don't know what it is. Maybe it is. Even, it's like the, the like the little bit like like uh, the old yeah, yeah. like Babe Ruth running around the bases, like the Nazis Dude. storming Normandy. Again, those are not common things nowadays for the people who are watching this. If you are an American and you don't know, if you've never seen the footage of Babe Ruth running around bases, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't even like sports. It, he's yeah. a legend. Yeah, I know, I know, but uh, like I had to go out of my way to know who Babe Ruth is. You're not an American. Yeah, and most of the listener aren't i'm trying to bring some internet uh, most listeners aren't people so (laughs) (laughs) you're welcome listeners um they're all mexican just like those people got killed in that kitchen (laughs) shout out to kato who's listening to this podcast probably because this was his only job as an actor no it wasn't not but it could have easily ended his career so (laughs) i mean it was accurate just i didn't get what the comedic pause was <laughs> welcome to paul <laughs> like, look those are facts but why did you expect us to laugh afterwards i want to give the podcast a little bit of litigious me i want to give it some litigious <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. don't worry keep putting me on there's gonna be a lot of litigation <laughs> <laughs> litigations Make for good podcasting material. <laughs> You're confusing me so just, hard right now. I'm just wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such an asshole. Oh, wow. Uh. <sighs> We've come this far. Why not go first? They used Johnny Cash twice. Once as a reference, once as a song. Why? The song where, 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 the, where the dad dies doesn't make any sense. Like, they, they, Johnny Cash has probably some dad-related songs out there. Why use this one, which doesn't have to do anything with a father-son relationship? Yeah, why not be on the nose all the time? What, what, yeah, what is exactly. This, what's this nonsense Double about down. subtlety and just having a song that sounds good and is also somber at a somber point in the movie? No. I say, if you're going to have a song, uh, if, if, if hey, Optimus you, Prime it, is <laughs> almost going to die at the hands of the Decepticons, you need a goddamn song uh, from Johnny Cash about, about <laughs> Decepticons almost killing Optimus Prime, all right? On the goddamn nose is Austria. <laughs> Fuck your ones. Come on, at least something gun-related for the, for the Transformers thing, you know? That makes sense. Didn't Johnny Cash kill himself? No, that was a guess. That was a guess. What? Aww. No, he just just old age. That's not a cause of death. Yeah, your body gives up at a point. People die, that Reggie. That's like suicide. To me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's yeah. That's what old age is. It's a very slow suicide. It's of involuntary your body. suicide. That's what, yeah. yeah, that's what life is. Yeah. basically. It's yeah. really long. It's a very long, drawn-out suicide. Oh, thanks, Paul, for that uplifting. <laughs> really? Thanks. You're trying to play the, no, no, the Jack no. card right now? Really? Paul, I'm just saying. You don't have feelings, Cato. I, I, I don't think it's acceptable to make, make light of these people's plight. I mean, like, suicide <laughs> is a very grave topic. Uh-huh. Welcome to a very special episode of FFA Earth. <laughs> <laughs> we hit all the notes today. <laughs> <clears throat> so, during sound, uh, I, I had this heavy moment, heavy music. When there were like there was this rift building between Kato and uh, uh, bum bumfuck make money faces uh, 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 character. Did we officially go to sound? Yeah. Okay. And I I just thought that was oh, like notes? like the on yes, the on categories. On pardon me. Yes. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Where uh, are we sound. recording? Is this gonna we're we gonna have enough space for us to record the whole? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Then we probably shouldn't waste. Time. I mean, like, should we? I don't know. Should we change it now? Should we change the SD card now? Yeah, so we let's can, change it. How I, much more do we are going to do? I was joking. Okay, that was just... There's never a pressing reason to make sure you're recording because you're never going to miss out on gems when it's just Paul. Oh, good. Thank God we took it off pause because there was all that 
funny stuff happening. Now we can get back to recording. Yeah, well, not. <laughs> we're we're still, still at the about sound like, bit. Now we're talking about this weird thing where this movie had a thing where it was heavy <coughs> moment, heavy sound. It was almost as if they were trying to make the musical bed congruent with the plot of the movie. I know, shocking, weird. No, yeah. but it was like the most staged uh, 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 kind of it's a heavy moon movie. Yeah, but it still was so ham-fisted, yeah, though. Sure, but like. Like the the fight they had that happens after that, where they where where Kato apparently actually kills the guy by caving in his chest by kicking him so hard that he flies through a window, oh, okay. the bro, the bro, the twice the and then fight. against the wall, and then against the piano or something. No, okay. I don't know some the, garbage. The shanty before panty fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, well, yeah. fine. If we're going with that term for it, that's fine. I say we fucking <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> no, I know what you're saying, but like, yeah. like it is a thing where like every Hollywood movie has a thing where it's like, oh, this is the. Oh yeah, it's like a checklist movie. they have to go through, and it's this a way is to like cheat and hijack your emotions by incorporating music that's going to make you sad. But so, so still, you know you're though, supposed to be sad. But you're acting like it's mind blowing, like they invented this trope. No, it's just how badly they are doing this trope. There are better ways to do this trope. There's, there's better there's... ways to make a movie. Yeah. <laughs> this movie wasn't... You, you, want, you want to know a better way to make the Green Hornet? Watch Austin Powers with green glasses on. Like, honestly, maybe... I feel like they yes. made this movie the way that we're making this podcast. They just stopped recording when all the good shit happened. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Reggie. Uh, <laughs> then there was this sizzle after she made the knife hot. Yeah, with under water. water. <laughs> tap, put, tap water from Los Angeles. Yeah, it is the hottest liquid known to us. Well, I mean, all that, all that fluoride that they're using to poison our minds and control us. Oh, yeah, right. that gives that nice sizzle because the chemicals are actually reacting with the blood that you Fluoride's have. Fluoride's actually terrible for your teeth, you know. It actually rots out your teeth and it's all my mind control. Yeah. <laughs> Turns the frogs gay. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't know if the germs are there, but the fluoride will make sure that you can control them and say, don't make me sick. Buy the Stop new- turning my frogs gay. Stop making me infected. New world order. I'm on to you. Buy the new FF Plöcker. Which uh, defluoridizing. What? <laughs> it only works in German. Buy the new FF Plöcker. Plöcker, like blocker, but with an O because of the. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get it. There's, There's nothing, nothing to, to get. get. <laughs> Another example of me and Reggie being the same side of the same coin. Uh, different sides of the no, same coin. we're on coin. the same side of the argument against you. The same side of two different coins. Yes. <laughs> Another example. Well, I say something stupid. Reggie says, fuck you, you're stupid. And I agree with him. So is Al Show Reggie. Oh, Reggie, you're not as fucking different than me as you thought. Because I also agree. I'm an idiot. <laughs> See? <laughs> we got some common ground. <laughs> Just the same side of two coins. <laughs> oh, <coughs> better than this movie. Okay, best moments. The ones, that, the, 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 the ones that I thought of that could have been in the movie but weren't. Yeah, the St. Patrick's yes, Day spinoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hit my us or with the, more. I, it just it was just a moment, and I they can't really do it on the video. But there was the shootout in the paper factory, uh-huh. and Seth Rogen was hiding behind a big roll of paper. Yeah, and it rolled a little bit so he could retreat. Yeah, why could you do all this dumb, stupid comedy gags? Can't he hide behind it? The paper's rolling back, and it's getting smaller and smaller. And he's like, oh shit, or, oh shit, because the paper's unrolling. <laughs> or what you actually pointed out, whenever they ran, uh, they had the big rig, and they tried to run over him, and they dove down. Oh, right. They just kept backing up. <laughs> Not even turning around, just backing up, going for it. Backing like, up. That would have been a way to handle it. Because they, they're already trying to go goofy. That's why I mentioned Austin Powers earlier. Yeah. But it's, it, it has super goofy elements, but... But then murder, murder, yeah. murder, bang, bang, Kate was a Terminator, <laughs> Blood Nofsky is, is a cold-blooded killer, yeah. and... Who's insecure. Yeah. <laughs> he and looked, also, who, he's like the best <coughs> written CSI villain ever. But let's also not forget... Like, that's his level. He's not even movie level. He's the best thing, like a, 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 a 
procedural crime drama like CSI can fathom. Like, this is our shining moment. Blodnowski, <laughs> you know? Let's not forget we can the identify best of him. It's whenever this other, the second guy who questioned him said something about him not being scary. He's like, oh, I'm not scary. And he's holding the gun upside down, slams it down <laughs> like he's stamping up. The Austrian kills the man by slamming a stamp <laughs> down on the ground, on the table, and shooting a guy in the chest. Shoots two holes through the guy's chest that go into the wall, and, and then the, just the a wall solitary starts, line of blood starts, starts trickling bleeding, down. Yeah. And he got bit by a vampire. <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> oh, symbolism. But I think what we can all agree on is that the best part of this movie is the credits. Yeah. When they ended. Because they are 3D too. Like, I like no, because it was no. fucking over. I, I like the post credit scene. <laughs> Just a blank TV screen and then it eventually turns blue because the connection stops. That's yeah. my favorite. Yeah, that's the best part of it. No, but f- for me, the best moment was because it does encapsulate the stupidity of the of the movie. I feel like this is going to upset me. Is, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the punching through the glass and then being right outside the car, jumping over seven cars. Yeah, Stretch Armstrong. Fucking punching through an entire car. Yeah. So no, not T eight hundred, T one thousand. Yeah. With the metal. Able yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah. I don't know the term. He's like that. really you don't advanced. T two. I feel like. What does that have to do with trains? I feel like this is your autistic Reggie, logic. Coming Reggie. Reggie. No. Oh, Reggie. Shut it has Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. For we everyone can cover else that has FF2. seen Terminator one and two, we can cover the Terminator on FFP if you want to in a future episode. You've never seen Terminators, or you just don't remember or know that Arnold Schwarzenegger's character was a different kind of Terminator than the. Do you not remember that Arnold Schwarzenegger's character was a robot uh, from the future? (laughs) In in, in, in a very popular movie that apparently everyone else but you saw, Terminator 2? Yeah. Or were you not even born yet? I don't remember. So good. Uh, Jesus Christ. Such a good movie. movie. The Metal. No, 90s. Terminator 1, you weren't born. Terminator 2. Oh, what's Terminator 2? 92? Something like that, James Cameron, but still you go back well, and watch it because the, the, the liquid metal in his hand turns into a sword type well, of... Two is the only one that I remember seeing most of. With the young kid that I thought was yeah, the, the method yeah. act. Yeah, I, 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 I've, seen, I've seen that one on like USA Network when I was a teenager. I don't think I've seen the first one. If you've at least seen the second, you at least remember that it's the best Arnold Schwarzenegger one. was like the old model. Oh, I don't yeah. remember shit. It, <laughs> <laughs> it's a great movie. We should the, cover it. The number of times I finish movies and I don't know any of the characters' names. And I'm arguing all of this context and cultural references because... No, just watch yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be better than Reggie. Like <laughs> no, no, just be better than Reggie. About? Watch Re- Terminator 2 if you haven't. It's an amazing movie. How does it make them better than me? By having watched that movie. It's that a great answer mo- my question. Oh, you're a better person because you saw a film. No, better than you, not better person. Better you're in barely which a sense. person. Better in which se- Okay, I know my dad's <laughs> black, but no reason to get all... <laughs> No reason to get all. I know you got. I know we just watched a Christoph Waltz movie, and you're like you're feeling really patriotic right now. That's the fourth verse of Iron from Austria. Uh, <laughs> Can you? Oh, da, die, Schwarz again, Raus. I am from Austria. <laughs> I wish there was like a first cut of this song where they actually had him. If sing we could this. do less of the third, right? <laughs> But I'm from Austria. It's yeah. Austrian stuff. Mundel and St- Reinhard <laughs> Fe- Fenrich, Fenrich, Buhr. <laughs> Jodenfrei, Mundelmusli. <laughs> let's, let's just tone it down. We had to edit a lot around this song. <laughs> Originally, just, it's called... It's just one of Hitler's speeches and they took out all the offensive yeah. words. <laughs> That's just what's left. <laughs> Like a secret message. I am from Austria. Yeah. <laughs> That's why the chorus isn't in the same language. There's a song called I Am From Austria that Austrians love and they'll play in bars all the time. And yeah, the I hate it. I Am From Austria. And the entire verse is all, is all like, it's all in German in like strong dialect. But it's just like, oh, you know, Austrian stuff, like muesli, like, like porridge, and like, and like, uh, case, really, those like, are your two like a, like first go to. Like a cheese filled Kaiser Kleiner. Yeah, uh, better. Next to the Danube, you know? Yep, oh, better, I better. Am from Austria. <laughs> like a stempel on a nice piece of paperwork. <laughs> so that was your best moment where he stamps it? 
Yeah, I think I like that moment the best. That was fun. It feels like you uh, there's personal bias because you actually had a lot deal, of Austrian. I had a deal with a lot of Austrian stamps. Thing, yeah. yeah, that's why it was amazing that the one person to use a stamp death was <laughs> it's an the Austrian. Austrian. Yeah, yeah. No, that was that was definitely most one of the most genius moments. Mine was. My best moment was when they pushed the car with the DA out of the window and then Rocket jumped onto the thing and then we the get the call back. came out of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh. With all the data apparently on it still because his computer, which has Windows 7, uh, Windows oh. Vista, this, by the way. Yeah, Vista, sushi, Windows Vista. The sushi was a, a flash drive that was... <laughs> for that the listeners, like yeah. Sushi, yes, for the people who are listening to this. Um, Don't watch this movie, by the way. <laughs> it's, a, it's a flash drive, and they apparently recorded... So it was like he had like a sound recorder and then immediately put it onto the... Yeah, thing. on the on the thumb drive. So then he's, it's on this thumb drive that's shaped like sushi because Kato's Asian. And then... <laughs> He has to, they have to do this big race back to the, the Sentinel so they can upload everything. And he finally gets there, and the data's not found. So since the data's not found, he just throws it, and the bad guy finds it. And he's like, oh, I don't know what to do with this. I'll just eat it because it looks like sushi. So then he eats it. They immediately crash half a car that has been driving for a long time for not having any of the parts of a car that it needs to drive into him. And then they, out of like a 20-story building, they rocket escape yeah seat out of ejector seat out of it it hits it lands or it the car, entire car lands on his stomach and the force of that does not you know liquefy him on the concrete no no what it does is just push like a heimlich maneuver <laughs> just pushes the sushi back to where it's resting on his lips so that the cops can immediately find it oh. it's so <laughs> funny and then apparently it has footage on it because apparently that little bit it just needed you yeah know, little, no no it's indestructible uh, kato made it so that sushi must be like it's vibranium basically Look, i know the information wasn't on there beforehand but if you you just have a car hit you in the stomach that I think that reformats the disc yeah. and really it's, it's recovery mode yeah yeah that's how I do it's most of my IT stuff format. actually I kind of like the idea that like it had all the information on it still but Seth Rogen's character was in charge of finding it <laughs> <laughs> he was just like exploring the CD drive that was empty <laughs> <coughs> I feel the same way are we done? Uh, no we're going to the secret ah! category now. I mean great yeah because Yay. Because I just looked it up again because I couldn't believe it the first time. The tagline for this movie is... Thunder makes lightning? No, that would have been better. <laughs> that would have been better. Because Green this, this secret strikes category... Strikes, this, strikes, damn it. Yeah. Because this lightning. category is called... Better tagline. Thunder strikes lightning. Yeah, no, because the tagline. Right, no, 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 you, you should know. You should know that <laughs> yeah. the, the theme of the original tagline, and we're doing the same thing with what that. What was the first one called? Lightning protect the thunder. law by breaking it. They didn't protect any of the law. No, exactly. <laughs> That's why it's a bad tagline. It's the Green just, Hornet. Fuck you! I'll do what I want. <laughs> yeah, I have Seth Rogen money. <laughs> Green Hornet, break the law. To break the law. <laughs> <laughs> Green Hornet, break the law. By breaking the law. <laughs> no, just break the law. Yeah. <laughs> we don't only break the law, we also break legs, faces, spines, arms, and other f- body parts. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Why does your, your tagline is like what you'd read on the back of a book jacket? <laughs> <laughs> Which this should have been like a Longest fan fiction thing ever. that somebody released on Amazon as an illegal sequel to the TV show. That's what I've, this should have been. Not not the movie that it became because this is a hundred... That's, that's a... Green that, Hornet, white privilege, the movie. <laughs> 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 that's not bad. That's Violence good. is good as long as a white guy does it. Green Hornet, the sequel <laughs> to Driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> we are using an Asian now. <laughs> Very progressive of us. They're also cheaper. <laughs> and he's a robot. <laughs> yeah, he's an Asian robot. How cheap can you get? <laughs> Green Hornet, the prototype to Google Drive. <laughs> <laughs> Google Driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> And Thanks, guys. This. Tune in next week. I've got a show tomorrow in Vienna. I'm Famous Jim Williams, FamousJimWilliams.com. I have a show four months ago. <laughs> <laughs> you don't care, and I don't care about the next episode because I won't be here. Just kidding. <laughs> 
This is I don't care about this episode. I've been Reginald Ferris. <laughs> Final conclusion. This is a garbage ass movie, but it but has some enjoyable movements in it. The the most enjoyable. I I don't get to watch a lot of movies. I have kids. Aren't you glad this was the one you got to watch? It. <laughs> All movies are kind of bullshit. It was it was fun to watch it with you guys and make some fun, and that's why shitty's movies even have a little bit of value because yeah. there was that and it's the, like a five and, hour and, endeavor by the and way. blood blood what's his face Bloodnovsky no. Bloodnovsky thank you don't not say his name correctly <laughs> that's a big deal for him that's true I'm sorry Bloodnovsky I'm sorry Bloodnovsky <laughs> It is very frightening. Christoph Waltz is a character act, uh, is a is a is a method actor. He stayed in Bloodnovsky mode the whole shoot through. <laughs> you will call me Bloodnovsky. <laughs> I will only wear red. Yes, I will only wear red because I want the last color you see to be we have, blood. We like have Blood to Nofsky, shoot. We have my, to name, my name is Bloodnovsky and blood is also red, so I have red. We have to shoot this <laughs> movie in sequence. <laughs> we have to shoot this movie in sequence because otherwise. He doesn't believe his own character build up. <laughs> I, I do not. I, look, I think we should stay true to the art. My stubble, it grows steadily. We cannot. The continuity. <laughs> it will be a, a fraction of a millimeter larger, and that is, not, that is silly. Okay. That's such a spot on Christopher's impression. <laughs> Where did Reggie go? I don't yeah. know. Oh my god. Good <laughs> comment. <laughs> <laughs> Not even ever, I'm just no, yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, so watch it with friends if you have to. Don't watch it alone. If you have to <laughs> is the best way to pimp a movie to somebody. <laughs> a ringing endorsement. If I you mean, have if to, you watch, have to it, watch it, at least make other people watch yeah, it. Yeah. If you have to watch Share it, the pain. don't suffer have some, alone. Have some boobs, do a podcast about it, then maybe it's kind of okay. Yeah, it is. It was actually an enjoyable experience with the two of you. Yeah, like, yeah. we stopped this movie a few times to riff on the stuff that we saw. Like, that's a, that's a trademark sign of a shit movie that has enough potential to be actually good. It's interesting that you say that because I've done that with literally every fucking thing you've made <laughs> me watch for this stupid podcast. Look, you just spin shit into gold like a magical version of that one Brothers Grimm story that I forgot again. Rapunzel? Yes. Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> ah, God damn it, motherfucker. Rapunzel fake Stiltskin. <laughs> Rapunzel Stiltskin. You know, yeah. the, oh, no. the no, blonde, you, the no, blonde no, no, don't transgender. Give, don't, give, don't give Disney just any ideas. Flaxen hair into gold. <laughs> don't give Disney any more ideas. They're already turning every property into a live action movie nowadays. They're gonna make mashup movies well, if they have the Rapunzel idea. Rapunzel Stiltskin. Honestly, Paul, I, don't, I think you should encourage us because if we need to cast Rumble Stiltskin, your troll ass will be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and Ooh. that is a great, great burn to <laughs> close this. Okay, um, but. You shut too tight, nigga. <laughs> What? <laughs> I was like, I was oh like, yeah, the insults at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Also, I liked how, like, at one point you reach up to scratch your head. I looked at your fucking ridiculous sweat-stained pit that goes all the way down to your navel, and I was like, Paul, how are you sweating? We're just sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> the energy expenditure of existing. <laughs> how do you think I can eat that much without turning into a? enormous blob again uh i don't how do you think that that's what's happening <laughs> thanks uh, <laughs> again i'm apparently substitute jack right now um oh uh, wait as much as i insulted you i think you just insulted jack a lot more <laughs> oh wait what the math doesn't check out here that's right jack paul has replaced you <laughs> all right uh plugs people where can where can you be found Facebook.com slash the Reginald Barris and also Facebook.com slash Vienna Chuckles for the comedy shows that I run in this city. Also on YouTube, All Ears on Us, as well as the All Ears on Us podcast. This will probably go on there as well. Paul's been part of it. It's way better than his, mostly because <laughs> it doesn't involve Austrian films. Except for the episodes that, that, you, <laughs> that you use. Except for the admittedly 
existent ex- mistakes. So, um, <laughs> Facebook.com slash Famous Jim Williams. Also, Facebook.com slash Worldwide Comedy for shows I organize in Poland, Wrocław, Łódź, Poznan, and elsewhere. And the whole crew <laughs> back hubris. home. Hubris. Famous yeah. and worldwide, and it's Poland, and it's him. <laughs> Fuck you, Paul. <laughs> Fuck you, Austrian asshole. Because here's how Austrians are. I'm like, oh, man. They're like, I don't know. I couldn't live in Vienna. I can't live in the big city. I'm like, Vienna's not a big city. It's a very small town. And it's, a, it's, a, it's like the a world's largest town. It's a small place. And they're like, oh, excuse me. It's the second largest city in the German-speaking world. I'm like, you're using the word <laughs> world very liberally, considering the German-speaking world is two and a half countries. We still have some misinformation that, you know, bounces back from the 40s. Look, I'm telling you, Hitler told me <laughs> the world is German, like, yes. Hitler promised the world would speak German by 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps the dream alive. <laughs> yeah, other places. I'm around. I got a show in Vienna that, oh yeah, this won't come out in uh, another show. I'm, I'm in that, Vienna. That is the world. I was in Vienna. You're welcome. That's <laughs> I don't know. We tried, we've been trying to wrap this up for five minutes. I plug, you plug, movie. Links in the description yeah, below, guys. Stuff. Thank you for, Green for staying I around plug, for this plug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for staying for this long-ass podcast. And uh, till the next time. Bye. 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 Bye-bye-bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye-bye